So come on then, bitch. Give me these questions. Have you ever had a crush on a straight friend? Let's be real. I think at some point every gay person's life they've had a crush on a straight friend. Do you use Grinder? No, I don't. I don't use any of those sort of like dating apps or the apps or like on the internet or whatever. Like I don't use any of those websites either. Because let's be realistic. Most of the people on those places just want to have sex. But saying that, I did actually get Grinder when it first came out. Like when it first came out back in like 2009, I think it was. And basically, like I was on there for a little bit, just sort of stalking people. I stupidly put a picture of myself on it, and I don't really know why. And as soon as I did that, within like fucking 20 minutes, like people literally messaged me and was just, do you want to fuck? And I was just like, I really just don't want to do this. Like, just delete, delete this application. Like, it's just not me. What is your favourite childhood toy? Oh my god, there was this thing that I used to have when I was a kid. It was called Geomag. And I don't know if I still have it or not. But basically, it was like these like balls and like magnets. And you put them together to make sort of like shapes and structures and stuff. And you can sort of just muck around. And I loved it so much. Like, it was so much fun. But the thing is, like, it just cost so much money. Like, so like, I never really had it that much. But I loved it. Like, I loved it so much. How old were you when you first came out? Now, officially, um, I was like 16, 17 when I told every single person, but I did actually come out to my sister when I was actually only 11 years old, and I was in France, and I remember that day vividly, um, and obviously she was amazing about it. People say all the time things like, oh, you're too young to know, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, seriously, I'm still gay now. I think I knew back then, and I still know now. So, um, yeah, technically, like, 16, 17, but I did actually come out to, like, my sister when I was 11 years old. Do you think size matters? Oh, get these questions. Questions. Um, I think in some way it does. I mean, let's be realistic. Like, it does in a, like in certain circumstances. Um, I think like, okay, let's keep this PG. If you just want to get fucked, like if you're going out and you just want to have sex, I think it does matter because obviously it's a bit like, well, you know, you want something just to satisfy you. But I mean, if you're in a relationship and you're waiting to have sex, and then when it does come down to you actually being with them and, you know, intimate, and, you know, they're like, I don't want to be with you because you're not hung like a horse, like, they're an asshole, and you, who would you, why would you want to be with someone like that? Do you like video games? Seriously, like, I'm actually a secret gamer. Like, um, I love Blood and Gore games. Like, I love Mortal Kombat. Like, Mortal Kombat is so amazing. Um, I love Halo. Like, Halo is like, my all-time favourite game. I just love Halo. I cannot wait for Halo 4. Like, I'm going to literally be sitting in my room playing that for like days. How long does it take you when you're going clothes shopping? Oh my god, oh my god. If you talk to any of my family, like seriously when I was younger, I was the worst shopper in history because I was so fussy with what I wore. Now I can literally go and shop and be like, I want this and I want this and I want this. Like I can do shopping now really quickly, but years ago I was horrendous. Like ask my mum, ask my sister, like anyone will just tell you it was just fucking horrendous. Like just Ew. What is your favourite thing to do in your spare time? Um, hello? You're watching it, bitch! When was your first video? It was like November 2008, and it was the worst thing in the history of the internet. You couldn't understand anything I said because I was like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, like seriously, I was just horrendous, and I don't know how I managed to stay on YouTube and do what I'm doing now, but we will never speak of this again. Do you ever get recognised? Now, I don't really get recognised here. Um, I, I was recognised once when I was in a club with my friend Daniel. Well, actually, technically, he saw Daniel first because Daniel was at the bar and then Daniel brought him over to me. And it was quite funny just to meet someone. He was called Jamie and obviously I gave him a hug. We had a conversation and stuff. But I, when I went to, obviously, when I went to London Gay Pride, obviously I met so many of you guys. And um, it was amazing to have people just come up to me like, oh, really, young Gasha. So I don't really get recognised up here. Like, I don't obviously where I am now because obviously it's just, like so small here. Do you love us? Now, I say this all the time, like I say this all the time, but I love you guys so much. You don't realise, you guys have changed my life. Like, seriously, I know it sounds stupid, but you have changed my life. Everything I do now is because of YouTube, pretty much. And, you know, hopefully one day I will go, like, big, big, big on YouTube. But I'm going to say I'm trying to get there. But, um, you got, like, I love you so much for doing everything you've done for me. And I just couldn't imagine, like, with my life without you now. Oh, this was fun.